Now, there will be certain times where you may not be sure of if that defense is going to pass off or if they're going to stay with that carry guy. Pump fakes are something that we teach to help show that defense's hand. As our five carry carries to the middle and he isn't sure what, how the defense is going to play it, a simple pump fake can maybe, you know, spring this guy back knowing that they're going to pass off or, you know, it may shoot this guy back here understanding that they're going to carry forward. So again, a pump fake can really be a nice tool to show a defense's hand to help you make the best decision possible to create that two-on-one. Like we've talked about before, every man up is going to start with a huddle. Uh, this huddle, which you know we would have done already, is going to allow us to get on the same page. So it's going to allow us to know what play we're running, which way we're moving the ball, and when it's triggered. So as we move the ball, let's just say it starts out in this alley. So we'll get a ball out here. And we want to run our first one, which is our five carry. We know that the, the first time Owen touches it, who is our crease guy, you know, we want him to, he's our trigger guy. So we want to make sure we know what time when he touches it, uh, what happens and what, uh, if we're triggering or we're, or we're just getting the ball around. So right now, as we move the ball around, this is a good time for us to diagnose what the defense is doing, whether in that four-man rotation or a five-man. If we trigger it here, freeze it, we now know that on Owen's next pass, we're going to trigger our play, which goes from a 1-3-2 into our 3-3. So on this pass, Owen's going to cut to the crease and we're going to get a carry. Can we talk about repetition? We want this repetition to be the same, so make it simple for your man up unit. On that trigger, we want a pass, cut to the crease, and a carry. We then are going to look at our options. Depending on what the defenseman does, if he stays with Matt, the look we want to make is throwing it back to where he came from. So if they don't pass off this cutter and they stay with them, he can either pump fake, throw it back, or he can just turn and throw it back. We now have created a mini two-on-one on this backside, and we want to take advantage of that. If they do pass off the cutter, again, this is something that with scouting and preparation, you might be able to see ahead of time. It's also something that mid-game you can make an adjustment. We then want to throw the ball forward. So go ahead, we just say they pass off, we throw the ball forward. Good, we then want to hit a corner. It is great when we hit these low corners, it is a great opportunity for us to skip it back up top. So as we hit that low corner, we want Matt Graham, to be who is our top center guy, to find a window to look for a skip. Hopefully to get this defense to rotate and then create a two-on-one on the backside. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna reset it, run at full speed, Again, we will have talked about this in the huddle of if we want to trigger it the second time Owen touches the ball. Second time, second time. Good, we'll communicate that. We'll get it around. Good, and then we're playing. We're into a 3-3. Three, three. 